All right, what's good, DJs? I go by the name DJ Fester, or if you like it, the big man. Now, I want to solve a problem that has been disturbing most of the DJs out here. The YouTube problem and uploading your mixes on YouTube. Okay? I want to show, to take you step by step on how you're supposed to make your mix, or rather how you'll make your mix visible on YouTube, or rather public, if I may use that word. And it's quite simple, all right? So, let's get straight into it. So first of all, uh, as we start, I believe you have uploaded a mix that is already blocked, okay? So if you have uploaded a mix and it's blocked, you just tap on your profile, on your profile on YouTube, all right? The profile on YouTube, and then you select YouTube Studio, all right? So after you've opened the YouTube Studio, of course, there's dashboard and then there's content. Select on content, and then you'll see, after you select content, you'll see the list of the mixes that you've uploaded okay so you'll go to the one that is uh, blocked okay and how do you know your mix is blocked just check on the visibility the visibility uh, so the one that is blocked uh, basically has a red eye okay so you'll see once you point the arrow on that particular video you'll say this video contains copyrighted material which has been blocked worldwide so that is the mix that you're going to work on all right so just right next to the red eye on your right there's copyright claim just go to the just point the arrow to the copyright claim then you'll see see details okay see details now you're about to see the songs that have been blocked in this particular mix i'm just using an example okay there's a display or a status overview display, all right? So we have a list of uh, the songs. There are those that are written no restriction with a tick. Of course, you're not going to check all those ones. But then, there are those that uh, you can see video cannot be seen or monetized. They indicated video cannot be seen or monetized, okay? Or the shortcut to this, if you're using a MacBook, just use Command F, Command F, and then type scene. Once you type in to show you the number of songs that have been blocked, okay? For instance, for this particular mix, maybe one out of three, meaning there are three songs that have been blocked. So basically, you're going to, I'm going to use one of the songs to show you how you're supposed to dispute, okay? On the right side of that particular song that you're going to dispute, there are three dots in vertical form. So you just select that one, tap on it, and then go to dispute, all right? Once you get to dispute, you'll have another display, okay? So in that particular display, you'll go down there and select my dispute isn't based on any of the reasons above. Just select that, okay? And then you click on continue, all right? On the next display, of course, there's something like a original content license, copyright exceptions such as fair use, public domain. We are going to select copyright exceptions such as fair use, okay? then continue after that there's another box down below on your left side i believe my video is my video is protected under fair use select that box and continue then you'll have another display okay you'll start with the type of use select type okay uh usually what i do i, I usually select entertainment because uh, the mixes are basically for entertainment so that is what i select so i'll select entertainment and then, of course, you, you must put a reason, okay? You must put a reason for uh, why you're using that content. That is required, of course. So uh, I usually put like something, something simple, just like uh, I'm only using the song for entertainment purpose. Once you select that, there are three boxes down there. My video doesn't infringe. I understand that the claimant you see the three boxes, just make sure you've selected all of them because if you don't select all of them, there's no way you're going with your dispute, all right? Then, of course, on the signature. On the signature, you're supposed to put your full legal name, not the channel name. It has even indicated, and a full legal name, usually a first and the last name, not a company or a channel name. Once you've, you've selected all that and you put the signature, of course, you can submit. Once you submit, it will take you back to the video copyright details. On the video copyright details, now you're going to do the same thing we've done here with the other songs that have been blocked. Okay? 
So it's that simple. It's just a matter of disputing the songs that have the copyright claims. After you've disputed the songs, there are quite a number of days that you're required to wait for the claimant to review your dispute. So if the 30 days will elapse without them rejecting your dispute, your video will remain visible. But the good news is uh, after you've disputed all the songs, 48 hours after you've disputed the last one, your video will be visible, okay? It will be public. But after the 48 hours, you'll have another period of like 27 days for the claimants to review your dispute. But within this period, if any of the songs that you've disputed gets rejected, of course your video will be blocked. <laughs> the sad part is, right now you cannot stream any video before the 30 day period has ended, okay? If the dispute is rejected, the only other option is going back to your mix, get to Vegas or whatever software you're using, I usually use Vegas, trim that song manually, and then re-upload the mix. The other shortcut is, if the videos are blocked, you can change the videos and put dance videos or performance videos. If the audio for that particular song is the one that is blocked, now that one there is no shortcut, you have to trim the whole song. But if the video is blocked, you can put dance videos, performance videos, and you will make your mix visible, alright? So that's how you upload your mix and make it visible on YouTube. Now you can use this video to upload your mixes, alright? Yeah, once again, I'm DJ Festa, and uh, before you leave, you can subscribe right here on this channel, and you can enjoy many of my mixes right here, and of course, you can share the mixes and all that, alright? Adios.